what's up guys welcome back once again it is me Malt. so happy to be here with you guys we are back and we are doing a uh, eliminate clan war guys i'm gonna go ahead and i pressed the wrong one we're gonna watch this top one right here this was a hard battle these guys had like a hundred war wins or something like 99 so now they're at a hundred um and they were really really good but hey i think that we ended up not being too bad, so um, attacks used, we didn't even use as many attacks as them. Uh, as you can see, we only used 86, they used 91. So we didn't do too bad. Let's go ahead and view this map and watch some of the stuff that happened. So um, we did two star, uh, Ollie two starred their top player. So let's go ahead and watch that. We're gonna show you guys some of these high level um, attacks. You can see this guy's base is fully maxed out. His archer towers, his walls, everything is just ridiculous so um all he's gonna go ahead and drop down his two uh golems right there as distraction and then he's gonna clear the way for the rest of his troops he's got four pekkas um 15 wall breakers which he's definitely going to need with these max level walls um he's going to go ahead and drop those wall breakers up there at the top and take out that wall <laughs> it looks like they almost got through now here they're going and these Pekkas are going to work their way into the center of the base. Um, the Inferno Tower is latched onto them, and there come all the Clan Castle troops. He's got to wait though for uh, he's got to wait for all of them to come out. It looks like the Witch just came out right there, and then there goes the Lightning Spell. So hopefully that Lightning Spell fully takes out the Witch. It looks like it did. Um, so he's got one more Rage. He is into the center of the base with those Wall Breakers. So those Wall Breakers did a perfect job. Uh, now his troops are going to go into the very center of the base. He's at 41% right now, and he's definitely going to get the Town Hall. Obviously, we already know he got two stars. But um, the center of the base is just getting annihilated right now by his heroes and those P.E.K.K.A.s. So there's 45% right there. He's got a little Golem over here being really dumb. Uh, it could walk around the base probably five times by the time it's going to break through that wall. So there's that 50%. There's that two star. Um, he's got his queen up and that is pretty much it. But he does let the time run out. We will, however, not because we're not going to sit here for another minute. So that was an awesome attack um, by Ollie 57 on that one. Um, and then I attacked number... Did I attack number 23? Yep. So we'll go ahead and watch my attack on number 23. It is a uh, go wipe as well. We're going to attack from the top of the base. Um, spread out our golems and our wizards around just to clear the way. Um, obviously everybody knows the golems are used as distraction. And then we're going to clear our way with those wizards. Get our witches on both sides. Uh, drop off our clan castle. And then here go the P.E.K.K.A.s heading directly into the center of the base. Our heroes are working their way in. Um, the queen is going to run around that other side, but now we have all of our golems in the middle. We've got our jump spell right here, which gets them into the center core of the base. We're gonna go ahead and freeze that inferno tower because it was doing some work. We're gonna wait for all of the clan castle troops to come out. Um, and there's the witch right there. We're gonna wait on that witch and we are going to lightning spell her and take her out. We've got a whole bunch of stuff going on in the center of the base. He has a level 30 archer queen that is doing some work, but our queen is about to come in and she is going to take out the town hall for us after our king annihilates um, their queen. So we're at 44% right now. So this is very, very close. Our queen is still in there. We've got three archers left over. This was a very, very close two star for me on this one. Um, <laughs> If these, if I had not put these archers in the correct place, then we would not have gotten it. So that archer is barely out of range of that mortar and that archer tower. Perfect placement on that one. This one right here is barely out of range of this mortar and that wizard tower right there. We've got one more archer, but we're going to go ahead and see what happens here. Uh, so that dark barrack gave us 2%, and then that regular barrack just gave us 1%. Um, so that was awesome. Uh, perfect 50% right there. We've got one more archer. I don't know why I dropped it down. Um, but she goes off and gets us another 1%. So even if that dark barrack had, even if that dark barrack had only given us 1%, we would have been fine. So there's a two star in that. All of these wars just make me realize that I really, really need to upgrade my heroes and I need to spend some time, uh, farming dark elixir for them. 
Let's see if we have any good uh, three stars that we can watch. I think I remember one of them. Oh, no, I really wanted to show you guys uh, this attack by... Yeah, this one. Watch this Archer Queen in this video. Uh, this is Sayaka's attack. I think that's how you say your name. Um, the Queen. The Queen. Everyone complains about the Queen, but this, my friends, is ridiculous. <laughs> this is so, so ridiculous. So he's attacking with Go White from the top, as well as uh, the majority of us do. He's got his golems already out doing work. He's got his wizards clearing the way. Here come in the wall breakers. Um, they are about to take out that little tip, and then they're going to head in there. There go the P.E.K.K.A.s, heading right on in the center of the base. He's got all of those clan council troops. The witch takes a little bit of damage, but not that much. Um, and then there is that jump spell to get the troops into the core so that they can uh, get some ranged attacks in there on the town hall. So they're going to work their way around. We're only at 19% right now, and the whole top part of the base has been destroyed. So the king is in the center. He's going to town. Um, he froze the Inferno Towers and the Teslas right there, so that was an awesome free spell. He's got his level 30 queen going to town, and then this is where it gets crazy. So these P.E.K.K.A.s are just getting annihilated right now uh, because that Tesla is over there doing extra damage to them. Uh, there comes that level 40 king in the center of the base. So watch the queen right here. She is taking that out. So she takes out that Tesla, then she heads over to this gold storage, and watch what she does next. So she is in range of the town. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> This is the wrong attack, <laughs> but at any rate, this is still a really, really good attack getting up there in the center. Um, that was a fully maxed out base. His heroes were maxed. I'm pretty sure that he had level 40 heroes, um, but there it is. He got the one star on that. That was a very, very hard, hard base to attack. I really want to find this other one um, as well. It was, it was by, no, it was by John Boy. Here it is. This is the attack that I wanted you guys to see. Um, I'm pretty sure that this is it. We're going to go ahead and watch this. So he's got uh, his three golems. They were deployed pretty close together, but that's also because that Tesla popped up right there. So that causes a little bit of a cluster right down here in the middle um, with, all of those, uh, with all of those golems right there. But he does have his wizards clearing his way, and uh, there's a rage spell right there. So many clan castle troops, he did not bring a lightning spell. Um, so that witch is deploying a whole bunch of skeletons, but his wizards are going to take all of that out with some serious splash damage. So he's got level 28 heroes coming in there. He's got his golems in there as well as his P.E.K.K.A.s. You can see them going around. There's that perfect jump spell. You can see it jumping up and down. It goes right into the town hall. Um, all of the troops are heading into that center core right now. So we've got the king in there. We've got some P.E.K.K.A.s in there taking everything out. Um, his heroes are causing a pretty big distraction right here. Um, now here goes the queen. So the queen is shooting at this wall. If she had walked over to it, she definitely would have been able to take out that town hall. So there's the queen's AI again, messing around with us. And then look what she does. She heads right over there to that archer tower and doesn't even finish on the wall. And then she switches back to the wall and now she comes in here and just she's just shooting at that air defense while the king kills her. <laughs> so that was an extremely annoying attack for John Boy. Uh, he was super, super stressed about that, obviously. Uh, the P.E.K.K.A. is going to head out here and thankfully get him the rest of the percentage that he needs. And then we are going to do all right there. Um, let's head back and I will show you guys. Let's see how my, uh, my defense held up. So the first one, the guy only got a one star on, but I can't show it to you, which is kind of annoying. I wish that I could. Um, so he's going to go ahead and attack. He does have seven balloons that he actually doesn't end up using. So he's going to pull out all my clan castle troops, pull them out here to the side, drop off his level 40 heroes, mind you, that are attacking my base. Um, and then here go his golems, his wall breakers, uh, and his wizards. So once they get into the center of the base, the whole idea is to have them kite their way around. Um, so he is a level 40 king and a level 40 queen, both just going to town on my base. So he does get into this portion right here and then work his way through there. Um, my skeleton trap comes out and does a little bit of distraction, but not too much against those wizards. And then you'll see that they are working their way around, but now they are working into the middle of the base. And this inferno tower is distracted over there on the side, so it is not able to take out those wizards 
before there they go so it just now switches to those wizards if that inferno tower had switched a little bit sooner then we would have saved the center of the base um, so he works his way around as his level 40 queen just goes to town. Um, I don't even know if he's used its ability yet. Probably not. There it goes right there. Um, so he's just going to continue working his way around. Again, guys, I'm happy with that defense right there, uh, getting attacked by level 40 heroes when I only have level 17 and level 20. Um, let's see their attack that they have on this guy right here. It looks like all of these attacks, though, are... Um, go wide this one is a hog attack so this is going to be interesting i actually haven't watched this one yet um hogs can be used at higher levels he also only has one inferno oh no okay he has two that other one blended in with the with the town hall so um hogs are actually very viable up at town hall 10 it's just hard to use them in my opinion you have to do everything perfectly let's go ahead and get all of this uh ridiculousness out of the way so he's got his archers down um, there goes his golem getting in there as a distraction and then once the golem takes uh, the majority of the aggro from the defenses then he's going to drop off his hogs up here so he's got all of his wizards in he's got 30 hogs they just lagged out dropping all those off over there on the side um, so he's gonna have to drop a f he drops the heel first and then the freeze so that way they have a longer time to get healed up so that giant bomb uh, does a good amount of damage but they just get healed right up again he does have one more freeze that he's gonna have to wait to use there it goes right there he's got that other heal um, helping out the hogs heal up down there in the bottom um, and then I believe that the hogs are going to get out of range right there and then the king is um, the king's just right there taking all that damage from that inferno tower once the queen heads over here um, then it's it's gonna help out a lot because that inferno tower is gonna go down his hogs are taking a lot of damage um, but that inferno tower isn't even down yet but it is going to go down right here by those hogs I believe come on yep so the hogs barely get it the hogs barely got that um, he does have a bunch of wizards and skeletons down at the bottom right now we can go ahead and fast forward through that so that's a perfect example of how well hogs work um, up in a higher level so that's gonna be it though guys I just wanted to show you all a quick recap uh, we only used 86 of our attacks if we had used five more then we would have been a little bit closer I'm not even sure if we would have gotten it though because they were hard they all had the majority of them had max heroes I think we only have two people with max heroes they had like nine so that makes a big difference but it was a good clan war uh, definitely check back guys for more clan war videos we're gonna be doing those and as always make sure you keep calm and clash on for me right I'll see you guys later peace hey I hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you leave a like down below for me also if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe right here and if you want to see some of my other more popular videos check it out right here thanks for watching again peace